we're here to cook um, two ingredient oatmeal pancakes. So all I have, or all you need to do is have an, any packet oatmeal, whatever flavor you want. And then one egg. So one pack of this, one packet, one egg. But I'm adding a little bit of milk and a little bit of banana. So I know I already have a banana flavor, but I want to add some texture of a banana. So just I'll just add one fourth of the banana. Okay. And I'm gonna mash it. So once you mash the banana, you can add in the oat and mix it. Mm, it smells so good. So I'll just add a little bit of milk just to make it wet. Maybe half of one fourth or two or three tablespoon. Yeah, you'll see. Um, it's a little bit wet and it incorporates the banana in it. So you can make two pancake, you know, medium sized pancake out of this one packet of an oatmeal but if you don't have flavored oatmeal you can use you know a substitute the one that's you know just a, the original rolled oats or whatever oats you have you can substitute it and just make or use one whole banana instead because the banana will give you that sweetness or you know some flavor or if you don't have banana, you can use honey or whatever, or sugar, whatever you like. But I always have banana here. So here I'm going to crack this egg. And you'll just mix it. have this pancake and butter Let's see now you can cook it and make some two pancakes and I'll let it sit for like two minutes but um I'm going to turn on the stove to ready this for cooking Okay, so I have here the pan. It's hot already. Um, I'm going to add the butter. of a cup um, I'm going to use this to scoop up whatever I will put here and probably make three of these mini pancake okay. spread it out yeah we'll probably it looks like we're getting three um three pancakes out of this mixture so we'll see 
It's a very healthy breakfast. And you can add some um, other fruits on top of it or you don't really need to use anything sweet or maple syrup on top because this is already sweet so there's already sugar on that packet and I added banana so it will taste better and so you are gonna know when to flip it if you see some bubbles in here Still cooking. Mm, it smells so good. So you will see on top, I'm not sure if you're seeing it very well, but there's some like bubble on top already, like this. So this indicates that you can flip it. So this, okay, nice. Alright, so I'll cook the rest and show you guys the finished product. Now this is done. As you can see, I was able to make three pieces, three pancakes out of that butter. So this is a healthy, very healthy breakfast. Okay, hope you guys enjoy it and give it a try and let me know how it tastes. This one, it tastes really good. I already um made many of this in the past so i know even if i'm not tasting this now i know it tastes good all right bye